Hey guys, we're getting prepped to go to NAB 20... What fucking year is it? <laughs> we're getting prepped to go to NAB 2024 out in Las Vegas. And one of the things we're doing is setting up a booth demo in the Tuxera booth with Big Fat Solid Iron. Oh, these are the ones that are yeah. the ones with those stickers on it. So understandably difficult to see what Jordan's excited about. <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, P5336 61.44 terabyte QLC SSDs. So we've got four of those. This server came in from Cheetah Raid. It's got eight inside. Each one of those little canisters holds four drives. So 61 times four, roughly 240, 240 per times three yeah, per so canister. 750 terabytes. Yeah, I didn't hear what you said, but I'm sure that's about right. And over here, we've got a pair of HP Z4 Rack G5 systems. Now, we've actually reviewed this one already, and actually, we've, we've done a lot of work on this system, but we're bringing them together for this demo that's going to show the power of a really good SMB protocol, uh, over 100 gig to a workstation, and we've got a lot to cover here. So what do you want to break down first? The server? Yeah, let's take talk about the server for a okay. second. So this is the sim same Cheetah Raid box that we've seen before, but with special twists. This is the NVIDIA A2000 grade card in it right. to actually handle the Raid. Well, I think it's, uh, uh, Grade calls it their card. It runs on a GPU, uh, but it uses the Grade software to do all the Raid aggregation. And we'll get to the performance numbers here in a little while in terms of what this box can do. But when we look at grade in our other reviews, and we've done it very many times, the performance is simply astounding. So in this box, honestly, maybe a little more than we really need for this project, but why have less when you can have more? Yeah, I mean, smoke them if you got them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know what to say, smoke them if you got them. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty clean layout. Everything's cable managed nicely. We've got air ducting and baffling. And of course, Cheetah Raid's ruggedized uh, NVMe sleds up front that are screw retained. Yeah, so for the m &E audience, these things are pretty cool. We actually showed this off last year in August at FMS. And in that case, we were doing a, uh, a visual AI demo using YOLO for yep. object recognition, right? The canisters can come in handy there. They can come in handy in a lot of places. But for m &E specifically, what's really cool about these is this kind of server can be used on set to gather up all the data, let the, the team that's on site, the digital imaging guys, the, the audio guys, whoever else needs to interact with it, interact with this natively over a box like this, a nice high-end workstation, and then to transport this data back to the data center for further sharing or editing or whatever, these canisters just unscrew, pop out, can drop in a, a FedEx box and off they go. They're really tight. <laughs> If the thumb screws weren't really tight or Jordan was a hair stronger, we would remove those. But we'll, sh we'll show you those uh, in, uh, in B-roll. Vince will make some movie magic movie happen magic there. That. Of course, it's a little 2U server, AMD Epic inside. The grade card is in there. The 12 solid IM SSDs in front. And then those canisters, if uh, Jordan's fingers were a little stronger, could uh, unscrew them. <laughs> and you can actually hit the little button there to detach from the RAID yep. group and, and ship those things back to the data center. Uh, connectivity we missed on this. What do we have yeah. on this? This is an NVIDIA Connect X6 DX, 200 gigs. So it's got two 100 gig ports on the back. So we should be able to push a decent amount of data through this. But in order to do that, we need to generate that load somehow. And we shall be doing that with these HPZ workstations that we mentioned already. Now these guys, as I said, oh. do you want to do that more gracefully? Now these are one U systems that are amazingly dense. Yep, so these have Xeon W7 uh, workstation class CPUs in them. And then we've got a special party trick over here. This is the NVIDIA A5000 ADA generation. We've got a fair amount of RAM in here, nothing to write home about. Uh, but what we're doing to these to help them be able to generate the throughput for the loads required, we went ahead and put another Connect X6 dual port 100 gig card in each of these guys. Another thing that's really interesting about the design of this, and we've already shown you this in the full review, but for those of you that didn't see it, it's rack mount. That means they need to get the power connectors to the back. But as you can see, the back is pretty chock full of goodies, including the CPU and the, uh, the GPU. These power supplies are actually in front. Each one has a fan on it in front, in addition to the uh, standard fan bank you see here. Of course, the I.O. for the front connectivity. You power supply too? What? But in addition to the power supplies fans, we've got the, more, the one U fans in here, the front I.O. and the uh, air shroud that's set up to capture the uh, the two fans from those power supplies here the rest of them 
split out for the CPU, the GPU, and of course these guys for your two M.2 storage devices here and your NIC in the, in the back. So we're gonna leverage the high-speed connection on the back of these HPZs. We're gonna direct connect to the okay. Cheetah RAID, uh, again, using grade to aggregate the drives. And then what's really cool, and this is where the Tuxera guys come in. And I'm gonna be honest, we don't know Tuxera really well, and I bet most of you guys don't either because Tuxera shows up in the most surprising ways and you'll never see them. Amongst other things, they offer something called Fusion File Share, and that's a high-speed, highly scalable SMB protocol. For the ME space, that means I can run Linux on that box with Tuxera installed with their SMB package and use Windows on these boxes and get very high speed performance. And we think that should mean protocol saturating performance. Yeah, hopefully we can get line speed, just saturate the line out of these two. And I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is, you know, cutting edge, right? I know there's faster protocols out there, but 200 gig out of one box is pretty. In this size, in this yep. flexibility, and in, I mean, especially for the storage server, something that's kind of portable-ish to put in a mobile yeah. rack to go on site. Same with these. You could wheel these in on a on a 18U rack that we've seen yeah. in here a number of times, have a switch if you wanted, backup right. EPS, all this stuff in there ready to go. Yeah. I mean, even our 4U rack that we have, our, our ruggedized rack, this the rugged rack, is yep. all designed for that. So it lets you get an amazing amount of power. Now the demo at Tuxera, we're not gonna do the switch or anything. Right. We're gonna keep it simple. We'll have these two guys in with the Cheetah Raid uh, storage server, direct connect, keep it really simple. And we'll be showing the power of the uh, Tuxera SMB protocol stack versus Samba. Uh, and we've got a whole paper coming on that. We'll yeah. link to that in the uh, description if you wanna check out that nitty gritty. But before that, we're going to also fire this guy up and just get a feeling for what we can get for overall in-system performance yeah. with the grade card and uh, just see what's up. Bigger number better, right? Yes. Lots of IOPS. So after we put the box together and did the testing with the HPZ workstations, which actually we kind of tuned those to be more like servers. HP can't sell a server, but we put 100 gig NICs in, put Windows Server on it, and. Essentially, we had HP servers, right? Yeah, they were pretty good servers with GPUs on board. I know, yeah, A5000s too. So if you're thinking about the media and entertainment audience, having an A5000 with fast access to 750 terabytes of storage ain't a bad deal. Oh, yeah, and rack mount workstation versus a server. Most servers are going to be equipped with um, GPUs really targeted for a different model. Right. And there is a media entertainment uh, setup that kind of prefers rack mount systems with more consumer oriented parts. So we took those systems, we took the Cheetah Raid box full of the uh, Solidime 61.44 terabyte drives, shipped all that stuff out to Vegas, and then I shipped myself out to Vegas to see what was going on out there. And the action at the Tuxera booth was, was actually pretty strong. The, uh, the demo that they had set up was the Cheetah Raid with the HPZs and really showing scrubbing in real time through I think it was 4K video, but point being that we could shoot this stuff on set and that the professionals that were on the team could immediately start interacting with that video with no lag, no latency delays, no problems at all. Well, yeah, and that, that's really the benefit of very high-speed network. Most of us consider, okay, we're on one gig and now moving on 10 gig. Yeah. This is moving up to 100 gig, and not just a single 100 gig connection, full bandwidth, two 100 gig ports. Right. So up to 20 gigabytes per second, theoretical, which, I mean, we kind of proved out. And what's really interesting is, I gotta be honest, I didn't really know Tuxera before this, and actually I, I met some of the, uh, the the guys at a happy hour afterwards, and the one guy pronounced it Tuxera, but then the other guy went on to tell me it was named after Tux from Linux, and that's definitely Tux. So I don't want to hear any more of this Tuxera stuff, okay? You, you, I, 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 so whether it's Tuxera or Tuxera, point is irrelevant. Their uh, Fusion File System, which is a better SMB, essentially, is uh, embedded in a lot of software-defined solutions and other storage systems that uh, I know we know now. I don't know if we're allowed to say it, but customers out there are definitely using it and have no idea that they're using the Tuxera protocol. We didn't know a lot about it either until you got testing with, uh, with their team on the Cheetah Raid box with those HPZs, and you saw some pretty good differences between standard SMB and the Tuxera Fusion File version of SMB. When we're interacting with uh, a lot of NAS equipment, we usually play in the one gig, 10 gig uh, range where 
you're able, uh, Samba is still able to be performant enough to saturate those interconnects. Right. Now when you move into 100 gig, 200 gig, you start to see uh, some limitations where in a lot of areas, Samba's maybe able to saturate half of that. So you leave a lot on the table unless you go to something a little more efficient. And if you don't know, then I guess you think that's pretty good. But with Tuxera's uh, SMB protocol, it opened up a whole new world for the performance profile for those Zs accessing that storage super fast. Well, yeah, and generally for SMB performance, we're thinking of like Windows system to Windows system, not really Linux system to Windows system. That's a big difference. Yeah, and we probably mentioned that in the run-up uh, in the intro, but as a reminder, we're running Linux on this Cheetah Ray box with 12 of these 61.44 terabyte drives tied together with Grade's uh, RAID card solution. So it's a really tidy uh, package that, that we put together for this specific workload with 100 gig NICs throughout the system. Yeah. But when you look at performance, what do we see there specifically when we look at uh, Samba versus Fusion File? To get a baseline here, uh, with uh, Samba and Read Bandwidth, we were seeing around four gigabytes per second uh, from each of the clients. Uh, we got 7.8 gigabytes per second uh, total for out of uh, both clients running at the same time. Right bandwidth is like 2.4 and 2.6 gigabytes per second, five gig a second total. And I mean, that's still pretty fast. I mean, that's 50 gigabit of uh, right bandwidth, but the second you move over to a Fusion file transfer protocol, there's a huge boost to performance. Using Fusion's file transfer protocol with RDMA, we saw a read bandwidth of uh, 23.2 gigabytes per second. Total for the two systems, right? Yeah, it was around 11.6 gigabytes per second from each of the uh, two client systems. And then on the right bandwidth side, where we had five gigabyte per second total aggregate before, we were seeing five gigabytes a second per from system, each client yeah. for 10.2 gigabytes per second total. There's a pretty strong benefit there that you just, you left on the table with uh, Samba. And most probably, like I said, don't know that even the, the Fusion file system's available. And now that you do know you're gonna want this thing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's either embedded in whatever your storage system you're using now, which it may be already, uh, or if you've got the ability to work with a system integrator or you're doing your own thing, to build a system like this that's specifically designed for these media and entertainment workloads, where again, we got 3X the read performance, more or less. That's yeah. insane. We swapped out Samba for Fusion File. That was it. Yeah, same IP address, the same interconnects, everything. Just switch file, switch protocol. Yeah, all you need is a license and uh, and you're up and running. But uh, I don't know. I mean, these drives in these media and entertainment workloads at 61.44 terabytes a piece to offer that level of performance, direct connected workstations on set. A number of use cases that this is going to open up. Like I said, this was really popular at NAB. And uh, we fully expect this to uh, be something that professionals that know that Tuxera exists with this technology are going to demand for these high performance workloads that, that need to take place in near real time. And of course, back in the, the office and then in the data center, there's so many other potentials for it. But for now, we're focused on that. We've got a whole paper on this. We'll link to it in the description. So check that out. And uh, now I guess I'm packing up some of these guys and hitting the road again to uh, put these QLC drives to work in a uh, AI use case. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, should be pretty fun. Should be fun. Until then, thanks for tuning in.